So what happened was I jumped up and chased after these people who had uh, shifted me out of, uh, of my spot. I'm now in a hospital, a mental hospital. This is the room. Uh, I've been kept in here for several days without anyone else coming in. Uh, one person came in last night to test my blood pressure. I was kept in a room downstairs for several days because um, I was isolated because it thought I was got a disease from the street. Uh, and I was made to um, stay in a room on my own. While, uh, and eventually a couple of men came in with these masks on from a distance and kept coming near to me, kept coming near to me and wouldn't touch me. Kept coming like that, kept coming closer and closer and wouldn't touch me. And when I turned around, when I tried to get near to them, they, they, they made me feel like I wanted to back into the corner. They had a stick that was a foot long. They poked it up my nose. They poked it in my mouth. Uh, they um, took away a sample and came back two days later, two whole days later, to tell me that I could move into this room. Now I've been living on the street since August. I haven't got anything that's, uh, that, that is on my doctor's record that is uh, notifiable or contagious. Um, and like I say, I was sleeping peacefully there and someone came out of a business. I think I know who they were. They worked for the chess business. Uh, they had no uh, protocol, they had no etiquette uh, as to why they approached me uh, and woke me up in the morning. I jumped up and, uh, that morning and showed distaste uh, and uh, tried try to get them off the pro away from me because of the way they had um, rudely uh, um, fallen and, uh, and abused my privacy. They, um, they eventually walked off. They uh, didn't. They hadn't asked the police to do anything, and I've since spoken to the police and found out why they did. They were called into this um, because they were sort of council workers, and I still don't know what they what they came for and what their idea was. They ran out onto the, they went out onto the street. I tried to raise that action from some fellow people that were walking around because this is a peaceful area without. But most people don't wear masks, and they just like to walk to work in the in the freedom of fear. You can look and you hear the breeze from here. The breeze blowing outside these str str strengthened doors and windows. Well, um, it, tra it seems to have transpired that they, they didn't want any trouble, but uh, what seems to have worked is that these, these folk have um, abused the law. I, I was arrested. They got onto the telephone quicker to say that I'd done something wrong. My words were ne negated or were, 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 um, were forgotten. The police came and spoke to me and just looked at me with their hands in their pockets and their masks on. They let me speak as much as I, w I wanted, say whatever I wanted, but basically they weren't doing the sound, the sound of deafness in both ears. All they were doing is just stood there with their hands in their pockets and their masks on, looking at me like this, just looking at me, just looking at me. And uh, from what I deduce, I was then put, in, then put in a cell on my own for a couple of days to uh, shout it off because I had no idea why I was there, but it wasn't correct and it wasn't human and it wasn't democratic. In no way democratic. I've got, I've got a clean criminal record and I wasn't on any kind of drugs. Now, now that I've been moved to this hospital, taxpayers' expense and my own personal one, um, it would seem that people know more about the problem and uh, all I am is something that's scraped up off the streets because that, in the end, is, the, uh, is a victory for everyone. Um, I'm telling you that I'm going to start to carry a passport around because I was asked by somebody in, a, in, a, um, in the foyer of a, of a uh, tra trans transit, transit uh, office, I think it was the police, uh, have I been born? Where was I born? Where was I born in England? Where was I born? Now I've come to the conclusion that if I had the passport, which that question really led to, was leading to, I could have handed it over and I might have got a lot further ahead. That's the, that's the nature of, uh, of, uh, it, it, of slanging, slanging about in England at the moment and too many black laws and too many black barriers without any actual wise answers to go through. So I'm, I'm basically making a public complaint and a statement. Uh, I, uh, <coughs> I'm now locked in this bedroom indefinitely, even though I've been tested for the virus and the virus, they, they've told me the virus has come back negative. That wasn't enough. 
they don't know why they've got me and now what to do with me. And uh, the, the worst thing of all that I can think of is where is my life going? Where does my little, my little black matter uh, think? When I, when I consider where, where my possessions have gone, where my plan for life is, and all I did was come in and go to the job centre. That's all I did. Go to the job centre. If, if, the, if the government doesn't want people to, uh, if wants people to be productive, we can't get house. They should actually write them off straight away and they should have special transit camps for them to go to straight away as an alternative to, uh, to go into the jobs themselves and get their own independent payment. Whatever the old man says and whatever some of those sly ones say about things, if they don't like it, they, sh they, could, they should try and point it out. And they, they, they're braver men, really, but they should try and point it out. They shouldn't be afraid to, to and say nothing. That's the, my name's Stuart. That's what's in, that's what's happened over the last couple of weeks. I was innocent to begin with, and I've been furloughed or journeyed. I've been used along with uh, along the way as the answer because of some silly women and uh, a lot of authorities that wanted to hear and by telephone rather than checking out the story and getting the justice, which would have been cheaper in the long run and would have saved my uh, my innocence. Me suffering. She could have been in it. She could have lost some weight. And she could have answered to her to her, her stupidity. This is a uh, this is Harlow uh, Mental Hospital, my name's Stuart Mills, and it's a uh, it's a uh, broad daylight. Thank you.